I'm uh, standing here looking at Marie's Heights at Fredericksburg. Um, this would be the vantage point that the Union soldiers would have had um, coming across up towards the wall. This is closer to the wall than uh, any of them would have actually gotten. I think the closest they got was about 40 or 50 yards away. Um, and here, looking towards this space, you can see where the uh, stone comes around that corner there. That's the sunken road. So on the other side of this sort of berm here, you can see just along the top are the stones. That's the original wall um, from the era of the battle. And then this is looking towards the Innes House, which was here at the time of the battle. And then just over here, um, on the other side of those two large trees there is the foundation. Actually, maybe not on the other side. I think it's right there, kind of where that well is, just in front of where that well is, is the foundation um, of the Stevens House, uh, which was another building that was there at the time of the battle. Um, in front of the Confederate position. And uh, none of the Union troops were able to, to make it any significant distance across the field. Here you can see in the distance there is the Kirkland Monument, um, which is where uh, Richard Kirkland of the 2nd South Carolina Volunteers jumped over the wall with some canteens to help the dying Union soldiers out in the field there and uh, both sides held their fire while he delivered water to the wounded. Um, this is looking back down towards where the Union position was and this map here shows kind of how open the ground was in front of the wall. Um, now you can see it's been built over by a modern neighborhood but this all down that street there all would have been empty plains except you can see that brick house peeking above the the uh, other buildings there, that house was there. That was the Stratton house, um, which a lot of Union soldiers hid behind in the open plain there. But otherwise, this was all completely open. None of that structure was there. So where those buildings are now, lots and lots of Union soldiers, thousands, um, were killed and wounded on the field there. Um, so that's Fredericksburg, it's a little hard. They've preserved the stone wall and Marie's Heights and everything, but it's a little hard to imagine um, just how fruitless the Union assault was because you can't get a sense of how open the terrain was at the time. Uh, so you just have to try and kind of imagine it. Um, I will go up and get some uh, image um, from the wall.